Do you guys have an idea of, of what party they belong to, and, and do you consciously put that into the, the storyline, maybe the character's actions? Really not. She's a libertarian. <laughs> libertarian? She's, She's a big step for America. Party. Really not. Yeah. No, we don't. Purposely not. Very purposely. Although, the show, if you'll notice, the show used to at the very beginning. Uh, David yeah. Palmer was identified as a Democrat. He, he was? In first season? Very first season. Yeah. Okay. But since then, it hasn't really been mm -hmm. touched on. Basically, all the crooked, uh, the, the crooked president is probably Democrat. Mm -hmm. And the, the good, upstanding presidents are all Republicans. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never really seen a more clear picture of a Republican than Charles Lowe. I, mean, I thought he was a Democrat. <laughs> that was a perfect example a, of, a de a of a Democrat a Rorschach in test. action. <laughs> this is clearly a Rorschach test. Chloe's a little chuckier. Yeah. Yes. Because she got pregnant. Yeah, and you guys had to change the script around Actually, a little. Quite, 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 <laughs> quite. So she, in the quite story, she, you know, with the story we concocted, she got a bee sting. Right. <laughs> she swelled up in a matter of 45 minutes. She, she needs some epinephrine. DC is fantastic because things are even closer together. It's and it's even more flexible. It's <laughs> more flexible. <laughs> places in one minute than you take 10 minutes in LA. It's incredible, we found. We've actually uh, added the, uh, we have the addition of a catapult. <laughs> uh, that uh, Jack used. They do go to the bathroom. We just, we, just don't show, we just don't show it. Unless you when you're, when, when yeah. the Kiefer and Kiefer actually have the right answer at your Comic Con, when, when we're with the president, Jeff Bauer's taking a leap. <laughs> I don't think we're giving too much away. Well, this is kind of an interesting thing to give away, which is the, the, the uh, first time you see John Voight and the season itself, he's eating. And I, I haven't discussed it. We haven't discussed it with him, but I, I think he did it on purpose. Yes. I, I, I think he loves the show, and I think he knows that people generally don't eat on the show. So the first shot is there. Well, we have to talk to him because he wants to do the next scene on the toilet. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> taking it a little too far. Yeah, there have been discussions uh, on the show. The art department at a certain point was yeah. operating on the assumption that it was 2013. And, yes. and, and it's really not 2013. Well, this was season six, which we actually right. was, it, it caused a bit of a storm. Because I, 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 at the beginning of season six, you know, it, it was a, it was an attack on a, a Muslim attack on a, on a bus, mm -hmm. and you, you're supposed to see a bus station right. and people right. looking at monitors. And I always envisioned it's like a, one of those old TV, uh, you know, uh, sale uh, stores where they're selling TVs and the people are looking at the news. But there's this weird futuristic monitor thing. Right, branching, it looks like a branching, branching monitor, monitor yeah, yeah, and it yeah, looks yeah. like you're in the middle of, 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 of Disneyland, in Tomorrowland. And I'm like, what is this? And we go to the art department, and they're like, well, it's 2015. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's present day. And but we did the math. He goes, forget the math. It's just present day. It's the ever-present now. It's the ever-present now. <laughs> is the idea. Part of it, I think, was season five. <laughs> The other part is, I think, you know, in the middle of season six, I think, frankly, we maybe probably made a wrong story turn, which I can go into, but who wants to, I, it's very, I, but I think at a certain point, it's, season six started off really hot, if you remember, and at a certain point, I think the story veered in a direction which I think was too early to, frankly, when Jack's family, that's my take. Well, was it, uh, I think, I think, I think I believe that we should have stayed with them longer. Do you think we should have gone to them later? I think we should have played out the Muslim... More. The, the, the idea of America under attack, under siege, played out for, for the bulk of the season got into Jack's family later. Because we dropped the big... We ended... Right. See, you know, episode four was the nuclear bomb went off. And we should have right. played the aftermath of... I mean, this is all... This is the, you're seeing this is the discussion that happens right. in the writers. Right. Right. The arguments of... Uh, and it goes on and on. So... Yeah, whereas I, I, I think... That, that, that a lot of people feel, including myself, we should have stayed with the family longer. We like popped him in for a couple episodes, the brothers killed. Sorry, DVD watchers. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and we go back. Uh, but at the, I, I remember us talking about that at the yeah. time, and frankly, we just couldn't. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, I, I think the seasons are alchemical in that we don't really, you know, we, we, we put a bunch of characters and actors and stories together at the beginning of the year. We don't have it all planned out. And, and they each take on a different characteristic that really only becomes clear right. uh, when, we're, when we're doing it. And, and I wish we could say that in season five we, we knew how fantastic uh, the Charles Logan story would play out. Um, and we certainly were responsible Although for I think we did, in season five we didn't know the exact, all the beats, but we right. did know that the president was going to be 
bad. No, not yeah. until uh, episode. Well, we, but I knew. <laughs> we were, there was a contingent who said, this is the way the season's got to go. It's not going to go any other way. And so we all kind of had that idea. This is where the season would end, I, th I think. I mean, we, the idea was that it generally would end in that. So we kind of, I think we, we had a better trajectory there than season six, which was, it was we didn't know. It was, I don't think it was clear in our heads. But I also think those, the, the Martha and Charles Logan were. Yeah, they were magic. That was good. I mean, the casting. Yeah, We have a vague idea. Vague idea. Okay. And sometimes more vague than others. And sometimes yeah. we have an idea and it's not what we end up with. Yeah. But my memory of the Charles Logan thing, which is just goes to show how, how is that we didn't know he was going to be bad. I think the idea was floated. And at around episode 10 in production, we decided he was going to be bad. And then we had to go back. We had to uh, uh, cut up one of a scene with him with... Uh, uh, Martha or uh, Walt Cummings to make sure I hadn't aired yet mm -hmm. to make sure it was it was uh, consistent, but we, we we almost did a diagram right, to make that. sure that that we weren't perpetuating. I think you know I, I, that we did, but I, I remember going to the season having a, that was your it was, it was a floated and it was because we had one writer who was opposed to it didn't want the president to be bad, but but we I think it, we always kind of knew that. By the time we got to the middle of the season, we were out of story. And rather than bring in some other dude, bad guy, that, that we had a perfect <laughs> character here. A great, and a great actor, by the way. His performance, when we, we saw his performance come to life at the beginning of the season, that also, right, that did it I mean, we was like, this is the perfect, we can't throw this villain away. He would, he would and, and a lot of the actors on the show would really elevate the material and take yeah. relatively factual scenes and make them really interesting to watch. I, I always liked Jude Chickalel who played um, Mike Novick and uh, he would take pretty dry stuff and I'd be find myself leaning in towards yeah. the TV. It was, you know, and I think the show thrives on people like that.